In this lesson, we'll take a close look at temporal dead zone. Take a look at this example. A is a global variable created using var. Then we created a block scope using the if statement. We can access A from inside the block scope. We can also reset A's value. Let's say inside the block scope, we declared A again using let. Now, the let declaration inside the block scope will override the var statement from the global scope. This operation is perfectly legal. But what if we still want to reset global A's value in the block scope? This means we need to access A in its temporal dead zone. What do you think will happen? Let's find out. We got an error message saying cannot access A before initialization. This error is lethal and will shut down your entire program. To avoid this, you should use as few global variables as possible and try to make variable declaration the first thing you do in each scope. If we move the let declaration to line 8, which is the top of the block scope, we can avoid this lethal error.